This puts a change for Rory McIlroy is going to be the secret to him winning a major championship. We all know he has a few of those woes and definitely some putting woes when he gets to a major championship. His putter just seems to evade him. So what is this putter? Why is it so good? And you are also not going to believe this crazy story from this week's FedEx Cup playoffs where he didn't even realize the setup of the putter was wrong and he had to take it to a local shop. Yes, you heard me right. You are going to want to tell your buddies this story because I've genuinely never heard anything like this in my life. So welcome back to a brand new video here on Back Nine Films. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell because I wouldn't want you to miss any breaking news in the golf industry. So make sure you subscribe and turn the bell. That way you always get notified. So how do you feel about Rory's putting so far this year? Do we think it's good? Do we think it's bad? Do we think it's just being like mediocre? I would love for you to get down in the comments and we can have a little debate on this because I definitely feel there is sort of a split. Some people feel that Rory is a pretty decent putter and some people think he's absolute garbage. Now, I believe that his putting is definitely one of the weakest areas of his game. You definitely feel that he gives himself a lot of opportunities and therefore doesn't convert as much as he should. All I would say is, right, there are certain people on tour you see them come down the last few holes and they get inside that sort of 10 foot range, Jordan Spieth being one of them. And you just think this guy is going to make it. Rory gets in that same position. I honestly believe it's a little bit 50-50, but get down in the comments. Let me know what you think on this. McElroy over the last few years has mostly used a tailor-made spider putter. He switched from a Scotty Cameron in the Tokyo Olympics in 2021, and he used a blade style Scotty Cameron at the WGC Dell Technologies match play in March. Six weeks later, at the Welsh Fargo Championship, McElroy returned to his original putter, the tailor made Spider Hydro Blast Mallet. Now, this week, he has put a Scotty Cameron Phantom X 5.5 in the bag. And I think this is absolutely pivotal. And when we go into the actual technology, you will understand why. Now, this is a winged mallet putter. And the switch, according to Rory McIlroy, doesn't appear to be dramatic at all. We don't really see top players switch and change putters that often. And I'm going to say Rory hasn't been one to do that. But if you cast your mind back to Rory in his early days, it was a Scotty Cameron, it was a blade, and he looked lethal. Now, the technology in this is really, really interesting. But first, what does Rory have to say about this change? Honestly, I just wanted a different look. I just wanted to freshen it up. I've got my spider with me this week. If that putter isn't doing what I want to do over the first couple of days, I may just go back. I just wanted to freshen it up. Honestly, it was zero testing process. It was just going in the garage, seeing what I had, and I pulled it out a couple, couple of times and hit a few putts. And that was that. Quite nice to sort of hear that, isn't it? It's quite nice just to sort of see he makes a decision like we would. Apart from it's probably not a Scotty Cameron when we go in the garage, right? We just sort of, all oh, right, we'll, we'll pick another one out and we'll, we'll do that. In fact, I would love to know how many putters you have in your garage. I think it's one of them clubs that golfers just tend to collect over a period of time and never seem to sell. Whereas we might sell our old driver, we might sell our old irons, we might sell our old fairway woods. I would love to know what your selection of putters is. Please do get them down in the comments. Like, I've got a couple in there. I've got a few Scotty Camerons. I've got a Yes putter. I've got this, um, well, the Hawk from Bettinardi, which I get absolutely slated for. But yeah, I'll get down in the comments. Now, Rory is currently, and I think this is one of the major reasons why he has provoked this change. 86th in strokes gained putting. Now, his putting season this year has been, I would say, mediocre. That's what I believe. But last year was one of the best seasons that he's had in 2022. He ranked a career high 16th in the strokes gained category for putting. Now, that is one of the reasons why it led to him winning the FedEx Cup playoffs. So 16th to 86th is a massive way off. Yes, absolutely massive. Now, the technology in this putter... I said before, right, is really, really interesting because let me just remind you what I said. 
Rory, in his early days, used a bladed putter. This, listen to this. So what is actually the Scotty Cameron X 5.5? Now, in my opinion, this thing is a thing of beauty. Now, Rory is using a small slant or jet neck version of this. It is a 303 stainless steel integrated with an aluminum plate, uh, customizable stainless steel sole weights. So players can change the weight, make it feel heavier, make it feel lighter, but essentially it is milled from one plate, one stainless steel piece with a plate attached to the bottom. Now, if you think of the putter that he has been using, this had a very much of an insert into the putter face not cast from one piece. But this is the interesting thing. This is honestly one of the reasons why I feel this putter could be the answer. Now, this putter is designed to promote a more flowing blade-like, yes, blade-like feel with stability of a mallet. The milled sight line on the top provides alignment. With the refined design aesthetic, excludes a high luxury and pristine craftsmanship at every turn. The th key thing there for me is the fact that this is um, a sort of a blade style, but performs like a mallet. That for me is huge. We've seen Rory use a mallet style putter over the last few years, swap and change into a blade at the WGC, but go back to when he was a junior, go back to when he first came out on tour, that thing was a blade. I honestly believe this could be the game changer. Now, this whole story is absolutely crazy. <laughs> you are not going to believe this. I, I, when I was researching this, it is unreal. So Rory played the first two rounds at the St. Jude Championship in the FedEx Cup playoffs this week. He also had the Scotty Cameron in the bag during his practice. Now listen to this. I mean, I would be absolutely crapping myself. He said, it's funny. I didn't really notice in practice, and then once I got into a competitive play, I always put my right hand on the putter first to go in and out, and I just felt like my right hand was on was at the top. It just felt a little too up. So I compared it to my spider last night. It was like half an inch. It wasn't like a huge difference, but Harry is his caddy. He sent him to a local pro shop to get it cut down. And he got it cut down by half an inch. Imagine being that guy, right? That cuts down, guy or lady in the pro shop, right? That cuts down Rory McIlroy's putter and then has to put the grip back on. I would be absolutely cacking my pants. If you get that wrong, this guy's performing at the top, le the top level. Crazy story, right? I mean, I've never heard anything like that. I have heard pros have such a bad performance that they just go into a local pro shop and buy one, but actually have to go and get it changed. That's a crazy story, right? And I think the reason for that is because most tour trucks leave on a Wednesday slash Thursday, and he got this done after round two. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today on today's breaking news story. As I said at the start of the video, could this be the putter that makes Rory win a major. I firmly believe it will because it's got the properties of a blade but performs like a mallet. Here we go. Come on, Rory. Masters 2024. I'm manifesting it for you.